Hey, it's Ben here. And here in this video, we're gonna have a look at how we create a diagonal split screen using the built-in tools within Final Cut Pro. And then we're gonna go on to look at how we can animate this with the Brett FX Slide Revealers plugin. Now, these are both cool techniques. You can obviously create the split screen without any external plugins, but the animations in the Brett FX Slide Revealers will add that extra little bit of professional polish to your video. So let's dive right in here. So we have our timeline set up here and we're gonna jump in and grab a couple of videos to pop in this. So I'm gonna to come to this ocean keyframe that I have here. We'll grab this video of this boat. We're gonna drop that on here. And these two really different bits of footage will contrast quite nicely. We're gonna turn the volume down on both of these, a little bit of noise in one of those shots. We don't want that. So to set up the diagonal split screen, super simple within Final Cut Pro, we're gonna come across the effects on the right hand side here. And in here, we're looking for our masks and keying. So we'll scroll down until we find that. And what we're looking for here is the draw mask. So we're gonna drag the draw mask onto the top clip here. So once we've got the draw mask on, we need to make sure that our transform properties are off. So that's this little box on the bottom left of our clip. And you can see when we turn it off, we get this option to click and add control points here. So I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit. We'll zoom to 25%. We wanna be able to see the edge of our whole clip. So I'm gonna click just outside my video here, and we're gonna click around a triangle, which is basically gonna create our split screen right away. So we'll click there. Now we have some options for the draw mask as well up in our inspector. If you don't see the inspector, just go to window, show in workspace, and make sure you have the inspector checked. That will bring up all the properties for the different tools that you're working with. And in particular, we wanna be on the video tab here of the inspector. So you can see we've got fill opacity, so we can basically control how much fill there is in that draw mask. So we can blend it a little bit if we want to. We can invert the mask so we can reverse that, which is super cool, super useful when you're wanting to create these different split screens. And then we can also have some feather on the edge if we wanna kind of blend these things together. So we can blend outside the mask or inside the mask, depending on what we want. Now, if we need to reset any of these properties, then we can just come to the feather and hit reset parameter and that will allow that to, to reset. So we'll leave invert mask on for this particular clip. It's gonna work quite nicely with the boat up in the top left there, and we'll play this through. So you can see really quickly, we get this nice contrast between those two bits of footage. Because we've only got one mask on here, if we wanna change the size or reframe the video in the background, we can highlight that video, come to our transform properties, and then we'll just increase the scale of this a little bit and move it around until we've got that framed nicely, just watching out for the edges there. And we might also want to, again, with the transform properties turned off, just have a look at where that mask is sitting. So basically we can get that nicely tucked up against the edges of our video. So again, playing this through, that's looking pretty nice. Now, if we transition from this graffiti to something else after this, then we can grab another clip on top there. So we'll grab this shipwreck clip on top and we can select the first clip here and go to edit and copy and then with the second clip we're going to go to edit and paste attributes and we're just going to paste the draw mask attributes and the volume as well and that will give us that draw mask now because the footage at the top here this shipwreck will just turn off the invert for the copied one is a different resolution we'll need to just resize that mask so that's why it's come out a little bit smaller there because we have two different resolution pieces of footage. So you can see here, we can set that up. And so now we've got just the ocean and the ship, or we can invert it again so that we get the ship at the bottom there, which looks kind of cool with that kind of texture and then the rust. So I'm gonna trim these clips down a little bit. And we're doing that just so that when we select the edit point here and add a transition, we can do Command and T to add a transition, there's enough overlap between those two clips for that to work. So you can see now we get this nice merge between those two clips. And I think we're gonna turn off the invert here. I think the most interesting part of this ship is the top part of the ship. And then I'm actually gonna add another clip on the bottom here. So we'll come to this abstract footage that we have here. We've got this cloud of smoke dropping. We'll place our playhead right here. I'm just gonna use the overwrite option here to place that clip right on that part of the timeline. So you can see we scroll back, it's actually overwritten the timeline there and the clip that was there. So if we play this through, we'll add a transition here as well. And actually we'll just offset these a little bit so we only get one transition at a time. So that's how to create this kind of diagonal 
split screen, how to copy and paste into different clips, and then how we can also work with the layers. I'm going to trim this down here just using option and the right square bracket. We'll delete that last clip at the end there. So we've just got a nice tidy timeline. And now we'll have a look at how we can add the Brett Effect slide revealers and what that's going to do to our clip here. So I'm going to come to my titles and generators here up at the top left. We will come down to the Brett FX slide revealers and you can see we've got some different slide revealers. What we want is the horizontal slide revealer. We're just going to drop this around about here on our timeline. So it's going to play through in this split mode and then it's going to do this reveal. Now we just want to change the angle of this reveal so it matches up with the angle of our split screen. I'm going to come up to my inspector and we're looking for the angle of the split screen. We're going to turn that all the way up and just get it to match the angle of that split. So you can see around about there is looking pretty good. We may need to come on and just at the beginning, just going to move forward here. We see that arrow drawing on. I'm going to expand out my viewer here just so we can get this just right. We'll zoom in a little bit. So you can see we're just a little offset against the, the edge there. So we'll go to 100% actually 50 and we're just going to get the split that we've got to sit right on that line where the revealer is going to animate. So now you can see if we play this through the arrow is going to come up and then it's going to split those clips really nicely. So just a cool addition to that split screen which we can obviously do with the built-in tools. The Brett FX Power Tools adds that nice little bit of animation without having to do lots of animation of those individual elements. So if we come back up to our inspector, you can see we've got some options for the text. We can add some text and we've got options for a couple of extra lines of text that we can type in here. And you can see we've got some different options for our color, our border color. And then also if we scroll all the way down, we've got options for the background so we can change our background color. Let's pick out a color from our graffiti wall here as our background. Maybe we'll give that a little bit more saturation so we're nicely matching the hue of some of those colors in there and we'll just play this through so you can see adding this effect on top of our diagonal split gives a real nice effect nice and seamless with the, the way we've got this set up hope this is a useful tutorial if you do have any questions then please leave a comment below otherwise i look forward to seeing you on the next video